Hey, I'm Roland with mobilegeeks.com and .de and what we have right here is the new Gigaset QV830. This is an 8 inch tablet in a 4x3 form factor so it's actually pitched against devices like the iPad mini. It's made by a German company and they've just started out making Android tablets. They have an 8 inch version which is this one and they have a Tegra 4 based 10 inch model coming out. Um, what I want to do right now is unbox the 8 inch one and this is actually based on Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean as you can see right here. It has a screen resolution of 1024 by 768 and we're just going to have a quick look at the specs right here. So it's based on a MediaTek MT8125 quad-core ARM Cortex A7 chip running at 1.2 gigahertz. The 8 inch 4x3 panel is an IPS display as I said 1024 by 768 it's obviously made by AUO which is a um, Taiwanese screen and touchscreen manufacturer they have 5 inch megapixel 5 megapixel camera on the back a 1.2 megapixel camera on the front 1 gig of RAM 8 gigs of onboard flash storage and a micro SD card slot for storage expansion there's Bluetooth 4.0 and, and Wi-Fi in here, and we have a 3260 mAh battery, which is a bit smaller than in the um, Nexus models that are available right now. So the Nexus 7 actually has a uh, 3950 mAh battery, I think. But what's good about this is actually it is only 8 mm thick, and it weighs just 351 grams. So it's really light and pretty thin, actually. Well, let's get it out of its box, get started on this. Uh, you get the quick start guide, which is made in this kind of like unfoldable poster style. There's a bunch of languages in here for countries like Turkey, Germany, France, Spain, and whatever. Um, all the countries that Gigaset is actually planning to sell this tablet in. We have the device itself. It's come, coming in this um, cellophane pouch, actually. I'm going to put this to the side for a second. Let's go deeper down into the box. That's the uh, USB power brick right here. It has actually 2.0 amps that goes to the tablet, so it's pretty powerful. Should be charging the tablet quickly, pretty quickly. It says on the box that it actually takes four hours to fully charge. Not the fastest, but it at least is pretty powerful. Um, here we go with the standard USB to micro USB cable as you're pretty much used to it from every other tablet that comes out right now. And down here we have the security stuff where they tell you to only charge the device with the original power brick and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm just going to throw all the accessories back in the box, put the box over here and let's get started on the tablet itself. I've already set it up and had it out of its box for the German video, so I'm just going to quickly run down uh, the parts that are on the outside. We have a 1.2 megapixel camera up here, as I said. There's no capacitive touch buttons underneath the screen, underneath the screen so it's all done on screen. So there you go, that's the standard Android buttons as we all know them. All know them. Uh, it's actually pretty nicely to hold in your hand because it has those uh, rounded corners actually and for me with my big hands it's actually pretty nice to hold even if you've got smaller hands it should be all right to actually hold it with one hand. Um, it looks pretty wide because it's this 4x3 form factor and the front is just a basic glass cover there's nothing like Corning Gorilla Glass or something going on here. The surface is not as smooth as on other ta other tablets, but it's it's decent. It's pretty much all right. Um, there's nothing on the sides. I'm just gonna show you that it's those are those eight millimeters I was talking about. So it's really really thin actually. The rounded corners, nothing on the sides, and everything is just on top. We have the power button right here. That's the micro SD card slot. Three point five millimeter headset jack. That's the noise cancellation mic, micro USB port, and a volume rocker. So there's no micro HDMI or anything like that on this. It's just a basic tablet. 
Um, this is the five megapixel camera I was talking about. Should be all right for basic snapshots, but don't expect too much. Down here, we have a single mono speaker. It has kind of a tinny sound. It's just a basic tiny uh, speaker, nothing to actually listen to music to or whatever, just for watching quick videos, it should be all right. The back is actually made of plastic and it's got this um, matte cover on it. It is pretty much resistant to fingerprints. They, don't, they do show, but it doesn't really attract them that much. There's the logo in the middle and it's basically it. Um, let's take a look at the interface itself. It says Gigaset on here. They're just basically just branding the device with their own home screen background and that's pretty much it. I think I haven't found anything special that's modified right here except for their own system updater and they have a sound enhancement software running in the background on the device too. Let's take a quick look at the settings. They're back here and check out the Android version. It just installed an update when I got it out of its box, so it's actually Android 4.2.2. It already was in the start, but this build is actually from December 3rd, as you can see right there. Runs pretty stable. The performance is pretty much all right, but nothing too exciting, actually, because it's this quad core from MediaTek. You'd be able to do anything you want with it, um, but just don't expect any wonders. It's not a high-end device like the uh, Nexus or whatever basic performance, but it's also pretty cheap. So it's coming out, it's just coming out in Germany right now for 200 euros, I think. The price should be dropping pretty fast. So it's a basic, decent tablet, actually. Um, another thing I want to point out is since the screen resolution is um, not as high as on any other or not as high as on the Nexus tablets, for example, it can get a bit blurry on uh, fonts and stuff. So um, if you're holding it further away from you, you can actually read it just pretty good. Not, not, no problems at all there. Um, but as you get closer, you'll see that it's starting to actually pixelate a bit. And yeah, that's to be expected as a, at a resolution um, like this because the pixel density is not the highest. Um, yeah, so this has been the Gigaset QV830 and I was rolling with Mobile Geeks. See you later.